So I have a mouthpiece, clarinet mouthpiece, a barrel, and a couple reeds. So today, what I'm going to talk to you about is putting the reed on your clarinet mouthpiece without breaking it. Now that's not a bad idea, and it will save you huge amounts of money over the course of your clarinet playing career. So what do you do? Well, what I do is I will take the barrel of the clarinet and I actually will put the barrel, the mouthpiece in the barrel first. And remember when you're putting it together, you always twist. And so now I have a barrel and a mouthpiece of a clarinet together. Now what this does is it'll give me a stable base to work from and it's a lot easier to deal with reeds. Uh, after a while, you know, you won't even think about it and you'll probably skip this step. But when you're first beginning, this will help you a lot. Now, the next thing that I will do is I will actually, this part of the mouthpiece here is called the table. And the table of the mouthpiece is where your reed, let me grab this, actually lays, just like that. So, a trick that I learned is if you moisten the table a little bit, and then you lay the reed right on that table and put your thumb at the very end of the reed, just like that. It just helps hold that reed in position. The next thing that I want to do is I am going to grab the ligature. This is the, called a ligature. And there are many different kinds of clarinet ligatures. And some will have the screws on the front, like this when you put it together. Here, and there's actually some that are designed to have them on the back side. This one is designed to be on the front. So when I put the ligature over the mouthpiece onto the reed, I will, you'll notice that I have the clarinet reed, I have it scooted down a little bit. So I'm protecting the very tip of that reed. When I put the ligature on, I am avoiding the tip of the reed like the plague. You don't want to be anywhere near the tip of that reed because it's extremely fragile. It's about the thickness of a human hair at the very tip. And so it will chip, it'll break. And when that happens, you have just uh, bought a reed and they can be really expensive. And so the clarinet won't play right, it'll squeak, it'll do all kinds of ugly things. So you'll notice again, I just slid the ligature over top of the mouthpiece away from the tip down until it kind of just hits the reed and it's snug. You never want to force anything. Now what I do is I take my thumb and uh, here you'll see I'm up I'm right here by the bottom of the reed where I'm moving my thumb and I push the reed. I have both of these fingers just guiding here, never touching the reed. And I just push slightly, very gently until the reed lines up with the tip of the mouthpiece, like so. Now, I go back and I take my thumb, hold the bottom, the base of the reed there, and I tighten the screws so that they are snug. You want to avoid over-tightening the reed, over, excuse me, over-tightening the screws that hold the reed on. So there you go, just like that. Now, the reed, is in a really good position. It's even with the tip of the mouthpiece, is, and that's where, where you want it. And yet you've not touched it at all with your fingers, you've not touched the tip of the reed. So it's just ready now to be put onto the clarinet and to be played. One thing I will caution you, before you start playing the instrument, even before you put the reed on the mouthpiece, Make sure that you moisten the reed so that the reed is uh, moist when you put it on the clarinet. Otherwise, it, it just won't play right. Mm -hmm. so.